My name is Dr. Nabot Kohl. I'm from Kajara, Tungamo District, Western Uganda. I'm blessed with two kids. I was born normally. At the age of uh, six, I was struck by polio that crippled my legs. And I went to coma for one year and three months. Uh, it was a horrible experience. By the time I, I recovered, I, I came out of coma. Polio had uh, struck my legs and my arm, this left arm, and my eye. I was walking using my chest. So I had to be rehabilitated. Make sure at least I can use crutches. I roll, or I, I, I sustain myself. Then my mom could carry me on her back to school. Then uh, if it's raining, she will come and pick me again. If it's not, I will have to walk home to something like three kilometers. They woke me up. The next day to go to school, I didn't accept. I told my father I'm not going back to school. I felt I was traumatized, that stigma was too much. Because like during break time they could gather around me, they wanted to see the kind of person. They get grass, they throw at you, get small stones, they want to see your reaction. Whether you react like any other person. Say, so why are you not going back to school? You must go to school. I told him, Daddy, I'm not going back to school. Why? I have no justification. Because it was not it, it was hard to explain that they laugh at me. That the teachers also uh, are surprised to see me in class. So I did not go back to school. They asked me why, I didn't respond. Punishments became punishments to Boko. But uh, I think they did it for like a week. They realized I was really serious with my decision and I decided not to go back to school for five years. I could go very early in the morning with the cows, uh, spend the whole day in the farm. My mom could bring food for me, the farm, and uh, I come back in the evening with cows. Uh, one evening I told them, I think I was from the farm, I told them, Daddy, by the way, it was after dinner. I, said, I think I need to go back to school. They were very happy about it. Very happy. He went to Barara. That's where I started my journey of education and I started, you know, appreciating myself that I'm actually better than many people because I found people who are autistic, I found people who cannot even move or sit. So it encouraged me to for a living. Disability is not an ability. Consultant, I'm a student counselor, I'm a coach, I'm a motivational speaker, I teach at the university, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a travel consultant, I now have a transport company that has cars, and uh, I'm private, then I'm in research, I, I do quite a lot. NGO that um, helps children with special needs and we do therapy, uh, we do orientation, we do education, orientation into form education and we do uh, empowerment to kids with disability. <laughs> okay, I want to prepare these kids in that by the time they are integrated into the society they don't feel ashamed of themselves. And that is the campaign that I will die fighting for.